Hi, my name is Hari from Batam, Indonesia. Uh, today, I want to show you how to measure the power level of the audio amplifier. Uh, over here, I, I got one of the handmade audio amplifier. And the reference of the book, they say it's got in power is about 250 watts. Uh, I want to prove it. Is it really 250 watts? Because I'm not satisfied with the sound. So uh, over here, I got some uh, very old uh, equipment out for measurement audio equipment. But uh, let me try. I'm not so expert to measurement in audio equipment, but. Uh, uh, I just want to prove it that uh, my, my handmade is uh, really 250 watts. Uh, let me start with uh, my equipment. Okay, let me start with my amplifier. My amplifier, audio amplifier here, uh, according to specification is uh, 250 watts per channel. So both if we supposed to be, we, I got 500 watts. But uh, anyway, I want to test it's really because it's very long time I use it and I believe it is 250 watt. So I want to prove it. Okay. And then this is uh, power, the, the power resistor for dummy lot. Uh, and then the value is uh, 100, sorry, 1000 watts for, for 8 ohm. Then I put the exhaust vent over here, so keep this uh, resistor cool, okay? The other side is here, the other side, uh, I use uh, two units of, two units of uh, frequency counter. This is exactly the same. I put one side for input and another side for output. So I want to know is there really any change for the frequency. Then. Uh, the most uh, very important equipment in this measurement is uh, uh, audio, audio analyzer. This audio, audio analyzer I use from Panasonic for the model VV7720A. Actually, this one is uh, quite old. Maybe seldom people to use it. So uh, anyway, uh, for me, it's uh, good enough for this uh, project. And then. Uh, if you want to, uh, to buy it, maybe some people still uh, selling in eBay uh, for about uh, 300 to 350 bucks. And then uh, for the output of this uh, audio analyzer, connect to this oscilloscope. I use this Kenwood CS5375. Okay, this is good enough for me. Uh, also for this project then the last one the last one this boy is a two channel AC millivolt meter I use two channel because I want to check uh, the input and then the output of the uh, signal uh, how many RMS faults I can get in the input and then how many RMS faults I get in output Okay, so uh, currently the black one I use it for input and the red one I use it for uh, output. Okay, so this uh, wire connect directly to the uh, output of this uh, uh, the analyzer and then uh, for the output is directly connect to uh, input of this audio analyzer. Okay. And then have the amplifier connect to this audio analyzer. You can connect directly this uh, oscillator, oscillator output. You can connect directly to the input of the uh, power amplifier. Okay. And the output of amplifier, of course, you connect to this uh, dummy load. And then also parallel to input of this uh, audio analyzer. You have no worry about the attenuation because the output, uh, you're thinking, same with my thinking, this is very high voltage, right? 
going to this uh, audio analyzer, but you no worry about because uh, I said here. Okay, here got automatic and manual ranging. So the ranging is it to automatically will change uh, for the certain voltage. Okay, I set over here in the level, and then the for low pass filter I set to eighty kilohertz. 80 kilohertz and then uh, measurement to the level okay uh, let me start let me start with the switch on of power amplifier okay okay don't forget to decrease until minimum of the volume and then we start here okay see anything happen over here nothing happen and then the frequency also, same, output, you don't care about output, output now is zero, point something, okay? And then we de increase. Since we increase the volume, the signal is there, okay? The signal is there. The signal actually has uh, come from uh, output, oscillator output, and then going to the amplifier, and the amplifier output is going to input of the other analyzer and then the output from analyzer for the monitor monitor output we can see the uh, signal okay and then how the voltage voltage of the RMS fault is not yet changed okay I changed increased see how any change okay increase increase but in time being in time being, we cannot consent to this uh, RMS work because we have to consent to this thing, the signal output. Signal output, why we consent to this? Because we want to know the, until this voltage is clipping. Okay, now it's going to clip. See, this is clipping, start to clipping. Bottom and top, this cut is not round here, not round here. But it's cut by clipping okay I stop until this clipping happen oh it stop okay see how any change this in, the, in this maximum of the power amplifier working this is input 1 kilohertz okay output 1 kilohertz and then uh, this is the uh, frequency for the oscillator output of this audio analyzer is 1 kilohertz okay everything frequency is okay and how about the output the output here we got it's a point 32 okay time by 100 this is output and then this is out input so we got 32 times 100 is a uh, 32 uh, volts right RMS then we take calculator here to be sure oh, about 32 times 32 divided by 8 ohm for this dummy resistor okay and we got how many watts 128 watt only yeah <laughs> funny very long time I use this amplifier. I believe it's only is the uh, power is uh, 250, but actually power is only 128 watt per channel. Okay, this is my small lab. Thank you for watching, Hadi Batam, Indonesia.